Here are 10 quick and simple Slack tips and features you should know. Number one, you can go to a channel, right click and open that channel in its own window. A nice little productivity hack. Number two are slash commands. So forward slash opens up a whole list of options and actions that you can take in a channel. Number three is customizing your navigation bar. So I'm going to head to more, customize navigation bar, and you can see you can customize what appears over on the far left. You can also do icons only for the icons in the far left hand side of your screen, which minimizes that area even more. Or you can just leave it as icons and text. Number four, in the upper right hand corner with the huddle, you can actually copy a huddle link and stick it in a calendar invite, for example. Number five, you can navigate a channel by clicking on today or one of the earlier dates and scrolling through or jumping to a specific date within that channel. Number six is you can open your activity feed in its own window. So I'm gonna hover over activity and use this icon here, open it in its own window. I tend to minimize this just a little bit and keep it on the side like that so I can keep up with mentions or replies in thread each day. Number seven is a preference called My Keywords. These are keywords that when used in Slack by anyone, you will get pinged. It's a good way to stay on top of, you know, information or content that's most important to you. And ideally, these keywords are more specific than these examples here. That way you're not getting pinged left and right. Number eight is workflow automation. So let's say I want to get help from team marketing. I'm going to click the workflow, the urgency level. Let's say it's medium. And then my note, hey team, what's the status of the campaign we're launching on Tuesday? I'm going to submit that and that will go straight into the team marketing channel here. A great way to streamline and automate requests. Number nine is saving things for later. So if I want to save a Slack message for later, I hover over it, click save for later, and then I come over to the far left hand side, click later, and all of my important messages for later are saved right here. And number 10, your channel can have its own tabs. So you can have a canvas tab, which is Slack's native document layer. You have workflows, the automations, but you can also add more tabs to the channel to help centralize all your projects, campaigns, notes, all that kind of stuff. And you can even make folders within channels.